all the the complexity out of this and all of these different long jargon words and just look at this from a simplistic way and it will make sense to you okay now, when we're looking at the physiology of a carnivore, an omnivore, an ovivore, and a frugivore, we will have to ask ourselves, which one closely do the human being assimilate? All right, now, the first thing I want to show is the, physiolog the physiological food is meat when it comes to a, a carnivore. When it comes to an omnivore, it's meat and vegetables. When it comes to an herbivore, it's grains and it's trees and it's foliage and grass and stuff like that. When it comes to a frugivore, it is simply major fruits and it's a little bit of vegetables and it's nuts and seeds all right now according to this this theory we're gonna call it a theory right now until we prove it okay according to this theory everything that's on a human will have to match one of these things for you to call this a carnivore for instance in order for a human to be a carnivore it will have to walk on all fours you see that it will have his mouth must open very very large it will have to not chew his his meat you know because carnivores swallow their meat they can, they don't have time to chew it it will have to have long canines to actually rip into fur rip into flesh it will have to have claws for it can claw the big animal down and rip the flesh straight from the bone to eat it. It will have to have a very, very high amounts of acid inside of its stomach sac, hydrochloric acid and pepsigen, uh, which is at a 1.2 for it can burn up that gnarly protein and up that gnarly meat. It will have to eat its animals alive, not fully dead because it needs the blood in it. OK, it'll also have to have elongated, but very, very, very short intestine because that meat cannot stay in the body too long because it will kill the body. It will have to sleep at least 18 to 21 hours a day. If we're saying that we're carnivores, I, I, let me pull this off the screen real fast. If we're saying that we're carnivores, y'all, and we just and we eat meat, it's cool for us to eat meat. We have to say we shouldn't be eating nothing else. We shouldn't be eating vegetables. We shouldn't be eating fruits. We shouldn't be eating grains or nothing there because that's what carnivores eat. And then when you look at their mouth, they have long canines. We don't have those, meaning that you should be able to go to your prey and just bite a chunk out of it and you should have claws and talons long enough for you to rip the meat straight from the bone can you do that no you can't or and do you even have the short amount of intestinal and colon for you can pass that meat inside of your stomach sac is the acid so low that it can burn and break this meat down within 18 hours no it can't do you eat your meat alive do you eat your meat with the blood flowing and gushing from it for you can get all the phytonutrients that you need from the meat no you don't so we can say y'all we can say with confidence we can say with confidence that we are not carnivores, all right? Now, when you move into an omnivore, now let's look at the omnivores. Let's see if we're omnivores, and then we're going to go slide by slide and break this stuff down because, you know, a lot of people is not just going to take this right here, and I know that because me, if I was a person that questioned everything, if I was an intuitive person and I wanted to know truth, I, would, I wouldn't take this simple slide right here. I wouldn't say Yaki is right. I need extensive research, so that's what we're going to do today. That's what we're going to do today. Now, when you go to omnivores, it says omnivores eat meat and vegetables. Your body is not designed to eat either. But this is just a theory. Let's just see. All right. You have to have four paws. Do you have paws or do you have clothes? No, you don't. You don't have claws. You see that your mouth will have to open very, very large because you have to break down bone. You have to digest all types of different calcium and all of that. The acid inside of your body have to be so hot that it bur it breaks down bones. It is able to break down teeth and everything because I mean, I didn't see, I can show y'all some videos of, of these omnivores and of these carnivores eating things that I know for a fact that you can't even pass through your digestive tract showing you that your physiology is different meaning that your food will be different your geographical location is different showing that your behavior and your food is different things that make up your whole entire body is different showing that your food is different all right y'all see that do y'all see that? And then when you look at the lateral sizes on theirs, look, the same lateral sizers and the same canines, which you do not have. The human is all the way over to the right. Do your teeth look like the first two? Your teeth don't look nothing like a carnivore. Your teeth look nothing like an omnivore. Your teeth don't even look nothing like an herbivore, but we're going to get to that. You see that? You see that? 
And then the renal secretion. If you even look at the renal or the kidney secretion in order to filtrate these things out of the body, the veins is the size of my thumb. Well, look, let me let me show y'all something. When you look at the veins inside of these felines, these carnivores and these these uh, herbivores, I mean uh, omnivores, they're veins. Their vascular system is the size of my thumb because they have to pass through all of them big proteins through their bloodstream because that's what they survive off of. They digestive tract go through something called putrefaction. Your digestive tract go through something called fermentation. You see that putrefaction is the rotting of flesh. You can't have putrefaction inside of your body because it starts gluing your cells together. It literally starts clunking your cells together and it creates all types of uh, carcinogens. And these are cancerous mutating cells that creates tumors in your body because mucus start mixing with other modalities in the body and the body cannot regenerate or rehabilitate itself so you you sure can't do that let me turn my phone off real quick y'all so you you sure can't do that so the more and more we start